This video is part of my newsletter series. The particular newsletter that this video goes with is called Speed, Dexterity, and Left-Right Hand Coordination. Basically, those are the elements you need in order to play fast and clean on the violin. And everybody wants to know how to play fast and clean. Well, so I've broken it down into two basic jobs and a third job that I'm not going to discuss yet, but in a future video I will. And just to get it out of the way, I'll tell you what that third job is. It's string crossings. But the first two main jobs really need to come even before you work on your string crossings. And those are building speed and dexterity in your left hand and getting the two hands perfectly in sync. So whether you came to this video through my newsletter and clicked on the link or whether you came to this video and now you know there's a newsletter out there somewhere somehow you've got to get to my printout material this is stuff that I've prepared especially for this lesson um, and if you are entering this video just from YouTube and you don't have this printout you can get it by visiting my blog www.reddesertviolin.com and just do a search for speed and dexterity. That's enough of the details here. In order to gain left hand speed and dexterity, we are going to do this simple little exercise that's based on subcheck. All right, to begin working on your speed and dexterity and left right hand coordination, I believe we have to start with left hand speed and dexterity. So we have this simple two-page exercise, which really is just my simplified version of Sevchik Opus 1. That book changed my, my violin playing forever. They're just little four-note patterns, but if you practice them correctly, they're powerful, and they will transform your left hand. So we have a two-page printout, and it's called building left hand speed and dexterity and building left right hand coordination that is because you're going to use the same exercises to learn both jobs so you're getting a lot of bang for your buck um, and really there's only three lines worth because these are all the same notes they're just in different finger patterns so right here you're going open one two three four three two one open see that then down here it's the same notes just in a different key and that forces you to change from this finger pattern to that finger pattern open one two three four three two one open and so on and so forth it takes you through the basic finger patterns of half step here half step there half step here and whole steps between all four fingers Okay, now here's where we need our instruction sheet. It looks like this. This is your instructions on how to use this exercise for job number one. Job number one is left hand speed and dexterity. So you can see you're supposed to play that eight note sequence. Open one, two, three, four, three, two, one, open as if it was quarter notes then you're going to play it twice as fast as if it were eighth notes and since you're playing it twice as fast you have enough time to go through it twice then you play that same sequence as if it were sixteenth notes that's four times as fast so you play it four times and while you're doing this exercise have your metronome on I like starting at 60 for this exercise. It's a really good doable speed and it leaves you enough time to think about things like perfect left hand form, straightening your wrist, none of this, none of that, relaxing your fingers and getting into position. So let me demonstrate this to you. There's 60. And then your 
on your next pattern. Now that first pattern is the only eight note pattern you're going to have in my my two pages of exercises. That's because you just got to go open one, two, three, four, three, two, one, open. You just have to do that one. All the other ones are little four note finger twisters. Okay, and they're designed to challenge your coordination. Like you'll have lots of skips, open one, open two, one, three, open two, one, three. Things that tend to trip us up, okay? When you're, while you're doing this, you need to make sure that your left hand is relaxed And here's what I see a lot of students do when they get to the eighth notes. I can't imitate it very well, but they have all kinds of extra motion. You want your left hand to be absolutely still because you're in position and you're relaxed. This is also a good time to focus on not squeezing your thumb and on not having your dreaded S curve. This is a real chance to get whip your left hand into shape. Okay, so if you were to do these three lines on all four strings for a week, you'd accomplish a lot. Then I'd go down and do this key and do it on all four strings. See, it doesn't matter that it's written on the A string. It's just teaching you a hand pattern. So I could just as easily go like this. G string and on the E string. See how that works? All right. Let me just quickly mention another thing students struggle with is on the patterns that involve their pinky. Let me show you, oh, this measure, the last one on the first line involves two pinkies. And that'll also help me to demonstrate what a four note pattern, how a four note pattern works. Students will go like this. They'll go. And they make a big lurch every time they need to use their pinky. Instead of getting in position to just drop that pinky very naturally like this. as efficiently as possible with as little effort as possible. That's it for the left hand speed and dexterity. If you can do that in all of the finger patterns at quarter note equals 60 with a relaxed left hand without squeezing and with efficient finger motion, you will notice a difference in your technique. Do it on all four strings, okay? Then you can move to this page. This is the instructions for the left hand, right hand coordination. You're going to use the same, the same two pages that you've already learned, so you don't have to learn anything new. And you will do it like this. You will start by doing four reps of every note, then you move to two reps of every note, and then finally one rep of every note. This allows you ample opportunity on the repeating pitches to get your hand, your two hands in sync. And then it gradually takes away some of those repetitions. Let me show you how this works. Quarter note equals 60. Get in perfect position. Straight bow, greasy elbow. We're not going to do fancy bows. We're just going to do detache. Here's pattern number one, the eight note pattern. This is 
the next pattern. I intentionally screwed that up. At least I'm going to tell you that was intentional to show you that by the time you get to the single reps, a lot of times your finger will be scrambled and you'll lose your coordination. Sometimes that does happen when you get to the single repetition, your left hand for some reason will just start freaking out. That means either you're tense, you've got some tension, or you didn't learn the pattern or focus well enough on the pattern while you were doing the four repetitions and the two repetitions. You just simply have to back up and do it again. Sometimes you gotta shake it out, give your hand a chance to rest a little bit, and then go back to it. It might mean you need to slow down the metronome. It might mean you're not quite ready for quarter note equals 60. In that case, I would move it up to 100 because that allows you to slow down, but if you put it on 50, that's going to be really easy to deviate from that slow of a beat, if that makes sense. There's just, there's a lot of space to fall and to, to, to rush or to drag in that slow of a beat. If you put it on 100, it's the same speed. It's just giving you two beats for every quarter note. So it's giving you eighth notes. And I know that's mental gymnastics and it's, if you don't get it, it's really frustrating. But also if you don't get it, it's okay. You can still do this exercise. You don't have to understand everything that's going on in this exercise. You just have to do it. And the skills will come by the time you complete the left hand dexterity and the left right coordination and you get all the way through these two pages so you've done all the finger patterns you're gonna be two steps higher in your technique so good luck with that if you need to get these printouts again come to www.reddesertviolin.com and do a search for left hand dexterity or speed and dexterity you'll find it Okay, good luck, I'll see you there.